A solid square pyramid has triangular cutouts that pass through and through as shown in the figure. How many surfaces are there in the resultant solid? So the question here is in this pyramid, this is the cutout and after that cutout, what will be the number of surfaces in that solid? That is the question asked, asked here. Let's make a 3D model to understand it better. This is the uh, square pyramid with triangular cutout. Let's count the surfaces. This will be 1, 2, then 3, 4, bottom will be 5 and each triangular cutout will make two surfaces on each face. So 6 and 7, then 8 and 9, 10 and 11, 12 and 13, and 14. So total number of surfaces will be 14. Here the figure shows different paths for going from A to B from here to here. The direction of the paths are indicated by arrows. These are the direction of paths. No node can be visited twice. What is the total number of different paths to go from A to B? So one can reach A from A to B. These are the different paths. This arrow shows the direction of the paths. So let's see how it can be done. If we see from A to the first node, there is only one way. From here to the second node, there are four ways. So total till here, it will be four ways. From here, there are two arrows uh, ex uh, coming out. So it will be two ways from here. So it will be one into four into two. Again, from here, only one. So total eight ways to reach, reach from A to B through this node. But there are four such nodes. So total, it will be eight into four. That is 32 number of ways. So that one can reach A to B in 32 ways. So here we have to find out what is the relation between this so that we get this result. And same is given. Another hint is also given. There is some relation between these two pictures given so that we get this result. And then we have to apply the same logic in this question to find out what will be in place of question mark. So if we see closely, this look like a reverse of this, isn't it? So what is actually happening here? We will flip, flip this and overlap it on this and we'll get it this image, this word. Let me show you. This is flipped and we get this. And if we overlap on it, we are getting art. Similarly, flip, we'll flip this one, second part, and then overlap lap it on here. We will get text, this second one. So here also we'll flip it. And then overlap it so we'll get the answer that is 8 3 6 9 7 found 5 so that will be in place of the question mark so in this question there is a bookshelf on which there are nine books kept and these spines of this book contain part of a treasure map and question here is what is the sequence of the books that form the completed treasure map you have to enter the answer as a single digit nine integer now basically you have to rearrange the book so that when we see from here we get to see a treasure map. So let's do that. Let's start. You can easily see that 7 is the first one because of this ending. This is the end part. After that we'll match this line. This blue water line and dotted line. So that it we have to match in such a way that it becomes a continuous line. Then only we'll get the answer. Let's do after 7 it will be 4 because the water line is at the same height. And this dotted line. Then it is 2, 1, 9. 8, 6, 5, 3. So the answer is 7, 4, 2, 1, 9, 8, 6, 5, 3. So in this question, we have to perform certain steps. And if after performing those steps, y is equal to 5, then we have to go to step 6. Otherwise, we have to go back to step 2. And if it uh, we go to step 6, we have to stop. And then what is the value of x that we need to find out. So let's start. In step 1, x is equal to 1 and y is equal to given. So step 2, x is 1 into 2, x into y. So 2, y is equal to y plus 1, 3. Here y is not equal to 5. So we'll have to go back to step 2. Again, x is equal to 2 into 3. And y is equal to y plus 1, that is 4. Again, y is not equal to 5. We'll go back to step 2. Here x is equal to 6 into 4. Here from x is 6 and this is 4. 6 into 4, so 24, 24. y is equal to y plus 1, that is 5. So y is equal to 5, so we will go to step 6, that is stop. And here x is equal to 24. So that is the value of x. Question, it is given. S cube 
is equal to QR is equal to RS is equal to SP is equal to PQ and PR is equal to 21 units. Because all the sides are equal, these two triangles will be equilateral. Because it is equilateral, this angle and this angle will be 60 degree. Now let us assume A and B as the center, A center of this circle and B center of this circle. Now if uh, radius of the circle is R, so this is the radius. So this angle will be 120 degree. Why? Because see this chord is subtending 60 degree here. So it will be subtending 120 degree, just double off here because it's the center. This is the property of circle. Similarly, this will be 120 degree. Now this is 120 degree. So this will be half because these two triangles are congruent. So this will be 60 degree. This will also be 60 degree. I found out that this is 60 degree. This is also 60 degree. So that means this triangle will be a equilateral triangle. Again, 60, 60, 60. Now all the angles are equal. Now this is R, this is R because equilateral triangle, so this will also be R. So what do we find now? Because PR is equal to 21 and PR is equal to PA plus AB plus BR. Now PA is R, this is again R because this is a part of equilateral triangle and BR is again R. So 3R is equal to 21, that means R is equal to 7 unit. So we found out that the uh, radius of this circle or either this circle or this circle will be 7 unit. That comes the interesting part. If you see, if we move this black part here and this black part here, it is the black part is actually the area of the circle. And because we have already deducted the radius of the circle, that is 7 unit, area of the black portion will be pi r square, that is 22 in by 7 into 7 into 7, that is 154 square unit. So that is the answer of this question. Uh, in this question, a circle and a semicircle are inscribed in a square and question is what fraction of the area of the square is blue shaded area. So in this type of question, most of the time, what you have to do is readjust the areas to make it easy. Like if you see this, if you make a line like this, make another diagonal and you can clearly see this part, these all are identical. If we shift this blue area to this side, and this area to this side, you can clearly see that this blue shaded part is one fourth of the square. So the answer will be blue shaded area is one fourth that is 0.25. Question, a total of 200 people were surveyed for newspaper reading. It was found that 100 people read publication X. So there are total 200 people. Out of the 100 people are reading X, 120 people are reading Y. And there are 50 people who are not reading any newspaper. So to, uh, newspaper readers are only 200 minus 50, that is 150. The 150 people are reading newspaper. Now we it's given this x is 100 and y is 120. To find out those people who are reading both the newspaper will be 120 plus 100 minus 150, that is 70 people are reading both the newspapers. Here the question asked is what is the total number of people? who read either publication X or publication Y, but not both. So to find out that from the total number of readers 150, we will deduct these, those people who are reading both the newspaper to get the number of people who are reading only one newspaper. So that will be people who read either X or Y, but not both. That is 150 minus 70, so 80. Here also you can see 30 plus 50, 80. So 80 is the correct answer. Row 1 shows a word with 7 partial letters, this one. Row 2 contains the parts that complete the word in row 1. This is the part which completes it. But it is the part in row 2 are arranged randomly. What should be the correct sequence in row 2? So we have to find out, rearrange it so that we get a word here. Complete word here. We have to complete the letters here. So let's see, it looks like a part of G and the top part is here. So this will come here. This looks like a part of this, so it will come here. This is looks like a part of this, so it will come here. This is a part of this, so it will come here. This looks like a part of this. This will go where? Here. And this will go here. So the word is cunning and the correct sequence is 5, 7, 2, 4, 3, 6, 1. A square of side 10 units shaded in yellow is cut using a square of 5 units as shown in this figure. 
what is the perimeter of the resulting shape shaded in yellow so if we name it a this as b this is 5 5 and this is c and this is d so perimeter required is 10 that is this 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus a plus b plus 5 plus 5 plus c plus d that is let us join this line and this also and this also and if we make two perpendiculars like this this whole square is divided into smaller squares of side 5 units so from here to here it is 5 unit so if we consider these two triangles these two triangles so this is the common side and this is 90 degree 90 degree and this is 5 unit this is 5 unit so these two triangles are congruent by RHS. Right angle, there is one right angle, hypotenuse are equal and one of the side is equal. So this from here to here will be again 5B. So this is also B, this is also B because these two triangles are congruent. Now similarly in these two triangles, they, they both will be congruent because this is 90 degree, this is 90 degree. Hypotenuse is common and this one of the side is 5 unit, this is also 5 unit. So this is C, this will also be C. So if we see this whole thing, this is A plus B plus C plus D is a side of a square that is 10 units. Now perimeter here is 40 plus A plus C plus D. So perimeter is equal to 40 plus 10 that is 50. So answer will be 50 unit. So question is X is 3 times as old as Y was 3 years ago. After 17 years Y will be as old as X is today. What is the sum of the ages of x and y today? So let's make first the question clear. There are two persons x and y and if their ages are x year y years today. So 3 years ago y will be y minus 3 years and y after 17 year he will be y plus 17 years. Now the question says that x is 3 times y is 3 years ago. So x is equal to 3 into y minus 3 and he uh, y, after 17 years y will be seen as old as x is today so say x is equal to y plus 17 if we solve this we'll get y is equal to 13 now y is 13 that means x is 17 plus 13 30 years so the sum of x and y that the ages will be 43 years here there are three tubes p q and r with colored marbles each tube can hold a maximum of 5 marbles and only one marble can be transferred in a move. The question here is what is the minimum number of moves required to transfer the red marble from the tube P to the bottom of tube R. So we need to do two things. First you have to empty this so that red can go here and also you have to move these three so that this can move. Now first what we will do in three moves you move remove these three. In the fourth move, it will bring this here so that this is an empty tube and so that all these can go here. So in fourth move, the red has come up. Now in five, six, seven, eight, nine moves, this is empty. Now it can go in the bottom. So in the tenth move, P, this red marble will go to the bottom of tube R. How many right angle triangles are there in this image? We have to count the number of triangles, but not just any triangle, but right angle triangle like this kind of. So let's start counting. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and this one 18. So there are total 18 right angle triangles. In this question, this figure was shown and the weight of this black fish was given and we had to find out the weight of this red fish. This black fish is 5 grams. In this question, this formula is being used. If M1 and this is this length is A and this length is B, if the formula is M1A into M2B. So let's do this. You can see this unit is 2 and this is 4. So and this is 5 grams. So 5 into 4 should be same as this into 2 that is it should be 10 gram 10 into 2 20 5 into 4 20 10 
20. Now, if you see this is at the middle and this whole weight is 15 gram and because it's in the middle, it will be 15 gram only, 15 in 15. Again, this is in the middle, 4, 4. So, if this is 15, this is 15, so it will be 30 gram. Again, here you see it is in the middle. So, it will be 30 gram plus this whole thing is again 30. So, this will be weight of this red fish will be 60 gram. The system of gear bent is shown below. The diameter is also mentioned here. And the question is, if the RPM of this M is, gear M is 100, what is the RPM of gear S? So, before we, let's learn few things about gear and uh, bends. If gears are connected, they will cover same distance. So, these three will cover same distance and these three will cover same distance. And if they are mounted on the same shaft, they have same RPM. So, P and Q will have same RPM. Distance is equal to circumference into RPM and RPM is equal to distance upon circumference. Now, the diameter of M is 3. So, the distance will be 300 pi. That is the same distance traveled by P, P also. So, the RPM of P will be 300 pi upon 2 pi 150. That is the RPM of Q also as they are both on the same shaft. Now, the distance moved by Q will be 150 pi and that is the same distance moved by S also. So, RPM of S will be 155 pi upon 2 pi that is 75. Question number 18, the perimeter of the equilateral triangle and the regular hexagon are shown, are given as equal. So, they both have, this triangle and this hexagon have same perimeter. The circumference of this circle is given as 10 cm. And the question asked is, what is the circumference of this blue circle? So, we have to find out the relation between this red circle and blue circle so that we can find out the circumference. Uh, let's assume that the perimeter of this triangle that is the same as same perimeter of this uh, hexagon as 6a centimeter. So, we now we know we have assumed perimeter as 6a. So, this triangle will have sides 2a, 2a, 2a. And this hexagon will have sides a, a, a. If we extend the sides of this hexagon like this, we get a triangle. And because this is a regular hexagon, this is of 120 degree. So, that means this is 60 degree. So, this is actually an equilateral triangle and equilateral triangle with side AA. Similarly, this will be AA. So, we are getting an equilateral, big equilateral triangle with side 3A. Now, the relation, we have to find out the relation between these two. So, we can see this is an equilateral triangle of side 2A and this is an equilateral triangle of side 3A. So, the circumference of this blue circle will be proportional to the same way this red circle is. So, circumference of blue circle upon circumference of red circle will be 3 by 2 because this is of side 3a, this is of side 2a. So, circumference of blue circle will be 3 by 2 into 10 that is 15 centimeters.